every day, one by one, I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go! Hi everyone! My name is Ruth and welcome to the 92nd day of my challenge where I am pretty sure that I will infect you with my excitement because I will try white chocolate chip blondies and apparently this is the code name for white chocolate brownies. Have you even heard of such a thing? I've never heard that such a thing like why chocolate brownies exist. So needless to say, someone is excited. So before we get into the ingredients, I actually want to mention two things. One is almost as always about the sour cream, which is called in this recipe. Uh, as always in such a case, I will substitute it with simple plain yogurt. Simple plain. <laughs> We have a saying uh, which goes something like buttery butter, so that's what I'm doing now. Anyways, so uh, as always, I substitute it not because I'm really picky or something like that. Nope, it's just uh, where I live now, which is Iran, we don't have sour cream. So whenever the recipe calls for it, usually it's like equally as good to be substituted. Oh my goodness, my grammar is just excellent today. <laughs> Anyways, you can use plain yogurt in such cases uh, instead of the sour cream. Uh, okay, that's enough with that one. <laughs> and the second thing I wanted to mention is about the white chocolate chips. Now, I won't lie, I didn't even search for them because really sad days have come here and we cannot even find simple chocolate chips, so... That's that. So I just bought simple plain chocolate, white chocolate, because I really want to try this recipe. Uh, so I'll just chop it up into smaller pieces, you know, to imitate my chocolate chips. Uh, and that's all. So let's go over the ingredients and let's get started. We're gonna need 160 grams of flour, 100 grams of brown sugar, 50 grams of granulated sugar, 70 grams of butter, one large egg, 30 grams of sour cream or plain yogurt, one teaspoon of baking powder, quarter of a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and 150 grams of white chocolate chips. <laughs> The first thing I did was turn on my oven to preheat to 180 degrees and now I will prepare my pan. Ideally you want 20 by 20 centimeters, but hey, I have a designated cake pan so I'm gonna use it. I will line the bottom of it with parchment paper and then spray the sides with non-stick cooking spray so that once the brownies are done they would come out really really easy. A tiny bit more of preparations. I will take about two tablespoons of flour and put them into the, well, white chocolate chips. <laughs> I will stir it in so that they would distribute evenly while baking and this tip is actually for anything you're putting into a cake, muffin, cupcake, whatever. You just take a little bit of flour, put it into whatever you're adding in and just coat it with flour. Uh, in, in such way they distribute evenly in whatever you're baking. And then once I do that I will add in the baking powder and salt into the flour and mix it in. Okay, so the dry ingredients are ready. Let's work on the wet ones. I will take the butter and both of the sugars and just cream them together. Oh man! Well, that was a great success, wasn't it? Okay, so now I'll add in egg, sour cream, and vanilla extract. Okay, the 
was that flour mixture, but I will mix just to combine. Okay, you never want to over mix such things so that they don't become too dense. You want them light and fluffy. So now I'll fold in the last step, I'll fold in the white chocolate chips. Okay, so now into the pan and I'll have to work a bit to even it out. Okay, I guess that's as even as it's gonna get. So now, into the oven for 25 minutes. Okay, it's definitely done and ay ay ay, do you see? I forgot to turn it halfway through. Uh, I usually always tend to do that because one side of my oven is hotter and you can see the result. So now, before cutting it into the bars, I will let it cool completely. like I would say one and a half hour and that's honestly the most I can do because my home smells so nice and for one and a half hour I've been sitting with my mouth watering so that's it Ooh, and they kind of cool down once I cut them up so I'm so surprised. That's so sweet. <laughs> they are soft. Uh, from the hardness of the dough, I was thinking, and how hard it was to even it out, I was thinking that they will be uh, really, well, hard. But they're really chewy and super sweet. That's honestly a bit too sweet, but yet I'm taking another bite. What do you know? They are so chewy or fudgy. I don't really know the difference. You know, it's actually very similar uh, how it was with fudgy brownies I tried it and I was like oh my goodness that's so sweet but yet then I was taking another bite and then another so okay one thing though for sure they are quite oily but again I know that I will go now take, uh, make a cup of tea and just enjoy it to the very last bite <laughs> so that's really interesting. I've never tried uh, white chocolate brownies and actually it is kind of like a brownie. It's just white and it has white chocolate in it. It's a really, really interesting one. I've never tried anything like this before. So I really hope that this was fun and helpful. If you want, the original recipe by Laura is there. The written one with the metric system measurements as well as American ones, is down in the description box as always. I can leave the fudgy brownies recipe, well not the recipe but the link to it as well in the description box. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a day. Bye!